FM 94, The Dark, it is that time again. It's time to get to know a band we play here on The Dark and on the phone tonight. I am talking with Oscar from the band No Resolve. And I tell you what, I'm excited to talk to Oscar because I've really digged, Oscar, your last song, uh, Get What You Deserve. And we'll get into that in just a moment. But first of all, Oscar, thanks so much for joining me on the program tonight. How are you doing? Man, thanks for having me so much. Uh, feel great, man. You know, we're just we're just trying to write and get some new, uh, new material out there. Maybe some new plans for touring, stuff like that. All right, let's talk about the history of this band and that. And, uh, you know, this is where I kind of like to find out where you guys all got together, how this all started. So give us the lowdown, the history of how No Resolve all came about. You know, it's, it's really a, a group of, of friends, you know, that we kind of slowly found each other, but... The, uh, the pieces of the puzzle started forming, you know, really together in 2009. Um, there was there were four of us, and we uh, we put together the EP and you know a single. We were really proud of it. Uh, we got our final fifth member, Maddie Shea, uh, just recently, actually about uh, about a year and a half, two years ago now, and uh, everything's just been kind of taken off ever since then. Now, you guys, uh, if I remember right, you're out of the the Michigan area. Am I correct on that? Yeah, from the Metro Detroit area. Yeah, so obviously Detroit is uh, well known for music, aren't they? Yeah, Detroit Rock City, man. Absolutely. So talk about the Detroit rock scene today, and then maybe obviously a lot of people know, you know, back in the day, the Motown, all the rock, all that kind of stuff. But how is it today right now in Detroit, I guess? Uh, you know, there's a lot of cool venues to play, um, you know. The radio stations in Detroit itself don't really help that much, but, you know, that it is what it is. So, yeah, Let's talk uh, about that a little Detroit bit. Detroit seems great. People people get out to the shows and they get crazy, you know, just like everywhere else in the country. <laughs> you know, we're, we're honored and humbled to play anywhere, so. Let's talk about that a little bit. You mentioned, obviously, the, the rock radio is not the, the greatest, obviously, in Detroit. And I know rock radio, We've been ta- I've been talking to bands for years about this, and, and there's been a huge decline I guess, in large markets, but it seems like the smaller markets, the secondary markets, kind of like what we are in, are, are where kind of things are thriving. Are, are you noticing that? At least you're getting a lot of air spins, airplay out of secondary markets rather than major markets? Oh, yeah, that's what it's all about, man. It's all about, it's all about the, you know, the, the littler people that actually help the, the littler people, you know? And, you know, the one thing is, that, you know, obviously... You know, you'd love to be on a, a major market in that, but it's just not like it used to be back in the day. It's it's more of a grind, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely a grind. I mean, this business is is definitely who you know, but a, even more hard work. Hard work followed by more hard work. So let's get your background a little bit. Uh, what got you involved into the music side of things? Oh man. Um, when I heard, when I first heard Papa Roach and Incubus, okay, I think that's what got me into it. You know, so as a as a kid growing up, that's what you like, kind of listen to. I mean, I mean, obviously everybody as a kid growing up has got. Oh, well, you know, some people want to be an astronaut, some people want to be a fireman, some people want to be a doctor. I don't know how many people always say they want to be a rock star, and you know, maybe there are some that do, but generally it doesn't happen. But I guess what really inspired you to. Uh, become somebody like you are today and actually be a front man too of a band that's another thing too a lot of people don't like to necessarily be out in front what makes you want to be out in front and be that front guy for no resolve you know i don't know i guess it's just what i'm good at <laughs> I, I wish i could i wish i could play the drum it's just it's just not uh, not the card that i drew so but i, but I do enjoy it. you know i, I love singing it and I love seeing people sing along and connecting with the music that we write. And that's that's an unforgettable feeling, you know. Yeah. Well, hopefully you never see me sing because I'm horrible. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> I might be the I might be the best singer in the shower, or for that matter, in my car. But when it comes to uh, like doing some karaoke or something, oh my gosh, take the mic and get it away well, from me. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I go to a, I go to a karaoke bar around here, and I, I I specifically don't want to sing. I just want to hear all the awfulness going on. It's great. <laughs> Makes you feel good, right? Well, I don't know. I just I guess I just like the people watch. You know. 
Man, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. We're talking with Oscar from the band No Resolve. Of course, uh, this band is out of the Detroit area. We we talked about their the song that really I think to me put you on the map was uh, What You Deserve. I believe uh, it got into the top twenty in secondary markets. Uh, give us some of the the background and the history of that song. I mean, like I said, uh, it's one of the songs that actually I have on a CD that I, I play all the time in the car. I love it. And uh, I got to believe uh, it uh, really kind of was the song that really got you going. Yeah. Well, we, Hey, we really appreciate that. You know, um, to me, that's, that's the best song I've ever written. I, I, that's what we all felt it in the studio. You know, uh, that wasn't our, that wasn't our first single that we released that got radio play, but it definitely surpassed our first single that we released, which I guess is a, an unusual thing, but, yeah, secondary top twenty. Um, even the major market hit top fifty. Was up there for about a month. Uh, you know, we're blessed. You know, we're we're, we're lucky and, and we know it. So we're we're happy as hell for everyone that's that's listening and loving the song. You know, but uh, as far as the feeling we got, you know, we wanted to speak to people. You know, something relatable. You know, everybody knows that knows that person that just kind of goes through life and. And just just waiting for them to get what what's coming to them, you know, the circle around thing, the, the karma. Absolutely. Now, was it? You know, you mentioned your that wasn't your first song released to radio. Was your first song released to radio? Love me to death. Was that the song? Yep. Okay. And you know, how did that do? I guess. I mean, obviously, it didn't maybe do as well as the second song, but sometimes it takes you know programmers and that uh, to warm up a little bit to a band, especially when you're a brand new band. You know, we had, it didn't go as high on the charts as what you deserved it, but, you know, we had a lot of love from Octane. Octane was spinning it mm-hmm. like 30-something times a week. So, you know what I mean? It had some heat, and it definitely got, it was the stepping stone we needed to release what you deserve, you know? You know, you, you mentioned, obviously, early in the interview here, sometimes it's it's who you know and that. Is there somebody out there that's really been helping you out, uh, for that matter, if it's behind the scenes or even maybe a current artist that's out there that's been in the business for a while? Um, there's a couple There's a couple bands that that are sort of like our brother bands that help us out. Uh, Taproot, one of them, they, yep. they've been really helpful to us. They've uh, they put in a couple, you know, a couple statuses, and every time they do like some kind of show together, they, they always bring us their Michigan boys, too. So mm-hmm. we're also, we've been pretty tight with Papa Roach for the past, you know, six or seven years, so... That's that's not a bad band to be right. hanging out with, huh? Jacoby and the boys. That's no, uh, that's yeah, probably yeah. pretty good. For sure. Yeah, you know, I actually, yeah. it, it, yep. I'll be honest with you. Uh, probably one of my all-time favorite bands uh, would be Papa Roach. Uh, I'd have to put Stained up there too. But I have never had a chance ever yeah. to interview uh, Jacoby in that. I've seen him a few times, and you know, just said hi to him, but never really had a nice talk with him before. Have you had a chance to sit down with him a little bit and, and chat about the business? Yeah, a little bit. Mostly was, you know, he, he would listen to our songs and right. tell us feedback, and he's always astonished by our numbers and being, you know, we just we just teamed up with Curtain Call Records, but right um, when when we had no name behind us, you know, we were we had these uh, Spotify numbers and stuff like that, and he was always really impressed by us doing it by ourselves. It is crazy that that's the way the industry is nowadays. It's doing it on your own, isn't it? Yeah, you know, I, I actually one of we're all really good friends with him, but uh, me specifically is Jeff Goot, the new singer of STP. I live in his old room. I live with his, his old guitar player. So ah, yeah. It's a really it's a really small scene, you know. Everybody, everybody kind of knows everybody. Absolutely. Of course, uh, he just jumped on the scene uh, this year, at least with STP, and uh, they've done phenomenal, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. He used to be in a band back in the day, too. You might have heard of Tricell. They have a song on uh, Queen of the Damned. Yep. No, I do remember him. I do remember him. But uh, boy, that uh, since he jumped on, I, I, he's got. I tell you what, his voice does have a little Scott Weiland sound to it. So I think he fits very well with it. Yeah, it it always has. He, he does really well with SP and like Alpha Chain. He's doing Alpha Chain thing around here too. You mentioned uh, obviously uh, Papa Roach and Incubus kind of being some bands that uh, really kind of influenced you to get into what you're doing. One thing that I love to do here on The Dark is help out other bands that maybe have yet to get to that next point. Is there some band out there that I don't know about that I should hear a song or two from and say, boy, you should check this band out? Have you heard of the band Artifact? 
Say it again. Artifact. You know what? I I think I have heard of them before. I'm trying to remember some of their yeah, music though. Oh, Art, Artifact. Yeah, I know those guys. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Them and our another brother band we have is Vices. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. Band that we just we just hit the road with called Locust Grove, and those those guys are really good. Do oh. some really big things, and they haven't been on the radio or anything yet. I remember Artifice. They had a song called Inhuman, right? Yep. 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 That's yep, right. And then, boys. and then Vices had uh, like uh, some uh, thin song or something, if I remember right, yeah, too. Thin yeah, thin Yeah, that's what it was. So, what was the check out Locust Grove band? Those dudes are great. Awesome. I will check that out. And of course, all our listeners doing that too. They love to. They get turned on to new music. That's what we try to do here: is turn people on to new music, just like you guys. No resolve. And I guess what's the, what's the future for you guys? What's uh, what's the next step here? Do we have another single coming out? Uh, we have an album. What what's kind of going on? You know, we'll see. I think I think right now the plan is like a, a kind of a bigger EP, maybe a six or seven song EP. And we've got some some people who want to fly in and work on it with us, and we'll see what happens. You know. Okay. I, one question I like to ask uh, is, uh, you know, if you had to put together yourself, uh, your band, three band bill, so you're going to go out on tour with three other bands, who would you love to go out on tour with? Um, Foo Fighters, Papa Roach, and Three Days Grace. Think we can make that happen? Well, if you know Jacoby, you should have no problem making that happen. Well, <laughs> He's a, man, so. he's a business guy, huh? We'll see. He's he's been telling me that he's going to take us on tour for a long time, so I'm sure it'll happen eventually. That would be awesome if it would happen. You know, let's talk about touring and that. Have you done? You just said you just finished up. A lot was it Loudwire Live just recently here? Was that correct? Yeah, we did the Loudwire Live, and we uh, we did a whole tour of the Midwest in the spring. Uh, we hit the West Coast uh, a little bit uh, through through the winter time and stuff. And, it's just trying. We're just trying to stay active and, and get out there as much as we can. But you know, when we're recording, it's not always possible. So right, right. Have you uh, have you had a chance to be in Minnesota here yet? Yeah, yep. We were in Minnesota. We played. Uh, man, I can't remember the name of the venue in Minnesota. Okay. Um. But you came through here. Tiny little bar. I was upstairs. Yep, yep. We've been there for sure. <laughs> Imagine that a tiny little bar in Minnesota. huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. We'd we'd love to have you come here to Little Falls sometime. Maybe we can make that happen. Are you looking at some future tours yeah, coming up? Yeah, you know we'll have to keep you posted. Uh, please please check in with us and reach out to our booking agent anytime. Absolutely, we'd love to do that, and I'm sure the fans around here would love to uh, see you guys too. Hey, one thing I like to also do is uh, let you have your time to let people know how they can get more information about your band and obviously your music. I'm assuming a lot of the social media sites are the way to do that. Yeah, you know, any social media, you can Google No Resolve, but noresolveofficial.com, you go there, it has all the links on it. So. Outstanding, outstanding. Uh, we're going to play uh, your current or your latest top 20 song, What You Deserve. And uh, you know what, Oscar, thanks so much for joining me here on The Dark and uh, looking forward to maybe having you play here sometime in the near future. Hell yeah, thanks a lot, man. Once again, that is Oscar. The band is No Resolve. Their latest song is What You Deserve. It's on the dark. It's on FM 94.